Hello, and today a couple of quick points about the blender. So there are a couple of demonstrations which I filmed earlier on, and I'm going to talk you through them. Here I am now just cleaning some glass in preparation to put down an undercoat. And so now getting the hake well loaded with paint and getting that mixture of paint on the palette well mixed. Now I've already cleaned this glass. Here we go now for the undercoat. Little hair there. Very delicate touch. And the undercoat goes on quite dryly. And now for the blending. Now this is what I want you to see. All directions. All directions. Blending back, forward, side to side, diagonally. All directions. And then push it away with the handle of the blender to let the paint dry. Okay, so you see what I mean. Blending from all directions, that's really, really important. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that through again for you to see, and I'll take it back to the point where the undercoat goes down again, okay? Take it from a different angle this time. Here we go, here we go. And there's the undercoat going down. Same piece of glass, just a different angle. Now the blending side to side, front to back, diagonally, all over the place, all different directions, just depending on where the paint has been pushed. And we'll push that to the side. And then tidy up the light box. Okay, so you see, front to back, side to side, diagonally, whatever is needed in order to push the paint to where it needs to go in order to leave it smooth and even, smooth and even. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do that with, I'm gonna show you a clip of another piece of glass, just following on from that piece of glass that you just saw, and we'll see what comes up with this one. So again, I've cleaned the glass, and we're gonna get, just get, take over from the point where the undercoat needs, needs, needs to be put down, so with the hake, okay? So let's get the hake going. So a little bit of extra water on the hake. And loading it, just restoring that undercoat on the palette. It's only a couple of seconds after the last one that you saw, but all the same, the paint needs to be restored. Now this is just getting the hake really well loaded, evenly loaded. And now we're ready to go. Now this is gonna be good, watch this. So there you see, I'm just measuring up the strokes in the air to make sure the stripes go down evenly. And now the undercoat. With the hake. And now with the blender. There's no big rush, no big rush, but you've still got to move decisively and competently. And now again, all directions, all directions. Just wherever the paint needs to be pushed, lightly, gently, side to side, back and forward. And there we go. And push that again aside with the handle of the badger, not touching it, just to allow the paint to dry. Allow the paint to dry. Okay, we'll take that one more time, and then after that, after that, I'll take you to the key point, the key point about this blending, what you really need to be able to do in order effectively to do it from side to side, like I showed you just. So let's just go back to where the undercoat has been laid down on that piece of glass, and I'm coming in for the blending again, okay? There we go. And there you see it, all different directions. Uh, 
and push it aside with the handle. Right, so there you are pushing the paint from all different directions. And what is really telling there is that the hand, my hand sweeps right across. And what that means is, with me looking down, I have a clear vision, I have clear sight on what's, what's happened to the paint. So I can see if I pushed it this way or that. Now, I want to contrast that with something that people very often do, which is this sort of pendulum movement rather daintily and the hand stays stable over the glass. At that point you can't see what you're doing because your, your hand is blocking your vision. So what you need to do is sweep right across and then you see where you push the paint, you see where the paint has moved and then you take a decision about where next to move the blender. So I might sweep across like that, I have a clear sight down on my glass and then I see the paint has moved like that so I need to come across like that so I come across like that and then push it back and I again I have a clear vision so I push it back like that or wherever it needs to be pushed but the point is that I'm moving my hand completely out of the way so that I can see what's been happening to the paint okay so simple tip but absolutely fundamental you can't blend if you can't see what you're doing and so many people block their line of vision with the blender. Just sweep across, change direction. Sweep across, change direction. I hope that's been useful. Talk with you again soon. Bye for now.